What's up guys, Calvin here. Today I'm going to talk about our new product, uh, Acro V75 HD. Uh, we have been working on this guy at least three months and, and uh, the, most, the most challenging part is the, the PID tuning and also the, 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 the balance between the motor, propeller and also what kind of uh, battery we're going to use on this setup. And finally we have these things out. So uh, it's using the, the Cockroach 75 frame as a base and uh, we designed a mount to hold a DJI O3 Air unit uh, and then a camera. And um, for the fret controller, it's a, a whoop size fret controller that uh, are, looks pretty similar to the BLE4 but it's using F7 MCU so you can do uh, bi-directional D-Shot and D-Shot 600 and it's still only taking 30% of the MCU power. And the other things is uh, the fret controller will comes with a uh, black box chips uh, built in. So if you need to have a uh, black box data, you can also take it from there. Um, the other things is, uh, let's talk about the, the built in ELRS receiver. So this fret controller have a URRT base uh, ELRS receiver, just the same as the BLV4 ELRS 2.4 and it's UART based so it comes with a ESP32 chips you can fresh firmware on it either uh, 2.5 or 3.0 it's up to your uh, remote control this drone is designed and tuned for indoor only uh, of course you can use it for outdoor shooting uh, if it's not like a high wing situation so like you flying in park or somewhere this is not a good drone to handle some crazy high wing it's it's not gonna handle that because uh, physically it's just 75 size and uh, it's not good at fighting uh, hard wing it's very very good to handle indoor and it's also good to shooting some tiny extreme tiny gap uh, of course it's depend on your skill if you are managing the throttle very well then you can do like super tiny gap shooting and the other things i want to bring on is uh, you have to turn on Rocksteady on your goggle. Uh, if you don't turn on Rocksteady, it will probably have some shaking uh, when you're filming a video. It's all from the stick command. It's not from the drone by itself. Because the drone is too small and it's very, very sensitive. If the stick command are inputting left and right row or pitch uh, movement, it will uh, directly get to the flight controller and then the picture are very very sensitive it will catch all the movement and then at the end you will see um, the picture is shaking or a little bit movement from the picture but if you keep it just stable on level mode then it should be clear and then a non zero uh, picture but if you turn on Rocksteady it will move all the zero or like shaking or anything movement from the, the drone so we highly recommend the user to turn on the Rocksteady on your goggle to have the best uh, video quality. And once you get the drone, how you bind it to your radio, it's using uh, URT based Express LRS. So power on three times, either uh, with the USB port or the power port, just plug in three times. You will trigger the internal receiver to get into the binding mode. At that time, you can bind to your radio and it comes with the ELRS 3.0 uh, on the factory D4. All our BNF drone comes with factory setting hex file that it already packed in the PID and also all the setting. Uh, if you mess up anything, just hit the reset button and it will bring it back to the original factory D4. And if you fresh some other firmware and you lost the original firmware on the drone, you can also download our firmware. Uh, it will be showing on the product page. And once you fresh that firmware, you will bring everything back to the factory default. And the next things I'm going to talk about the battery that we pick for this drone. So this is a Tattoo uh, 450 mAh battery 2S. Uh, and I think this is the perfect size for this drone because uh, I'm looking for other size like 550. It's a little bit too heavy. Uh, it will be over 100 gram total for this drone. And this one is perfectly under 100 gram. It's 99 gram with the battery and everything. I recommend to install the battery from the front. 
and then have the label facing down. So just like this, and you can squeeze the battery in and have the wire going on the side like this. And you can have the balance, the balance cable to put in, in here like this. Okay, I think that will be all for this product. Um, if there's anything I didn't cover, um, maybe we will just make another video to uh, talk about it. Let us know if you have any question. And then uh, the following will be some footage, either outdoor or indoor. We'll put it together and then uh, hope you enjoy it. All right, thank you. Have a good day.